Hello, my name is Siobhan Lynch and um, welcome to the Care Skills module. I will be your healthcare tutor um, for the duration of the course. So we're now going to look at an introduction to the Care Skills module. So this module is one of your mandatory modules for successful completion of the healthcare major award. It can also be undertaken as a standalone module and the module has three units which we will examine shortly. Assessment for the module involves the completion of two assignments which are worth 20% each and three skills demonstration reports worth 60%. Having work placement is essential for the completion of this module. So the learning outcomes for your care skills module are your first learning outcome will be to identify the groups of people in need of care. Your second learning outcome will be to examine the physical, emotional, social, psychological and spiritual needs of a range of groups of people, taking into account individual variation. Learning outcome number three will identify the hygiene needs of dependent clients and discuss the prevention of pressure sores. Learning outcome number four will demonstrate knowledge of the correct procedures for the cleaning and replacement of a range of patient equipment. Learning outcome number five will adapt levels of assistance to the needs of particular clients and then you'll look at demonstrating a range of interpersonal skills when dealing with clients to include empathy, respect, patience and effective communication skills. Learning outcome number seven looks at um, improving client involvement in social events, outings and occupational therapy and physiotherapy. And learning outcome number eight looks at the maintenance of safe and hygienic environments for clients to include the safe disposal of soiled linen. Learning outcome number 10. In this learning outcome you will look at assisting clients with dressing, grooming, eating, drinking, toileting, continence, promotion, mobility and where appropriate social needs. Learning outcome number 11 looks at client safety and security procedures to include appropriate on-site client care procedures for washing, bathing, showering, positioning, moving and handling. Learning outcome number 12 looks at assistance that enhances the privacy, dignity, independence and positive self-image of clients in care. Moving on into learning outcome number 13 which looks at the assistance you need to give to clients in the use of a range of care equipment to include sensory equipment, aids to encourage independence and mechanical aids including mobility aids, feeding aids, washing aids and elimination aids and hoists. Learning outcome number 14 looks at reporting changes in the client's condition to the relevant supervisors and learning outcome number 15 relates with this and then it will be involved looking at communication and documentation where appropriate. So the overall objective of the module, this module aims to provide you with the skills, knowledge and attitudes to recognise personal care needs of clients and residents, service users that you will care for. Another objective of the course is to develop your confidence as a carer and in the value of your work and to enable you to care for clients in a safe and hygienic environmental manner. That concludes your introduction and we will shortly move into Unit 1.